Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week, Sporting Rifles' Byron Pace is defending a fragile coastline from rabbits. Sporting Rifles Byron Pace has brought me to the coast of North West Sutherland where a unique habitat is under threat from a foreign invader, the rabbit. First brought to the UK by the Normans, the rabbit originated in Spain. It thrives in this sandy grassland where it can build its burrows with ease and food is on tap. This is a typical West Highland macker. There's the main thing that we have grazing up here is uh, sheep. Um, but one of the big problems is that rabbits are also in big competition for the grazing. Now the interesting thing is that there is um, an agreement to take the sheep and any cattle off between the, the months of May through to October, uh, but unfortunately there is uh, no agreement with the rabbits and they cause a huge amount of damage. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to get on top of them and see how many rabbits we can shoot and hopefully reduce some of the damage. The shooting does not start well. Byron has a go at a hoodie and misses. Hooded crows, as well as causing quite a lot of damage to the local bird population in terms of predation on nests, they're also a real pain for the farmers. Um, it was a little bit of a long shot, the, the shot that I was taking, but sometimes you just have to take the opportunities that arise. Unfortunately, on this occasion, I missed it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's the, the main reason that we're trying to keep on top of them here is for the farmers. The rifle is clearly not on zero. It's not his own. He has borrowed it from the landowner. Byron takes it to a safe location and puts a few rounds into a sandy bank at 30 yards until he's satisfied it's shooting straight. Back to the rabbits. I ask Byron what's so special about the macha. This fantastic uh, diverse habitat that we have here, we've got yellow marigolds behind us and it's one of the interesting things about the coast is people just think of sand and rocks but uh, this incredible habitat which we're trying to somewhat protect by keeping the rabbits under control um, so that people can enjoy it. It's not just uh, as straightforward as people think. Taking a drive along the quiet country lane, the scale of the rabbit damage is obvious to see. This year's young are out in force, milling around the sandy warren. Byron takes a couple of rabbits from the vehicle with consecutive carefully placed headshots, but these conies are wary and their companions soon run to ground. It's time for a change of tactic. Parting company with the Land Rover, Byron heads off swiftly on foot making use of a ruined building to cover his approach. Unknowingly squat within easy reach of the 2-2 LR, another drops on cue. The rifle is clearly shooting better after his quick correction. Some of the rabbits on the previously shot ground are now settled. Byron forgoes another drive-by in favour of an ambush approach, using the topography of this coastal area to maximum advantage. It's fast and furious, taking shots from strategic points before urgently pressing on to the next firing point. This is a military-style op against the hungry invaders. 400 years ago, when the Spanish Armada was blown down the coast of Britain, one of the ships was wrecked just off the coast here. Fortunately, the locals were able to fend off the Spanish attack, but one of the invaders remains, and that is the humble rabbit. Fortunately, we've managed to make a bit of a dent today. It's not a one-day job, but everything makes a difference. As a successful evening draws to a close, Byron cools down from the heat of battle along the white sands. With a few less prospecting rabbits on the prowl, the farmers will be content, at least for the moment. And now, the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. The cancellation of the CLA Game Fair has brought misery to visitors and the gun trade alike. But the show goes on, online. Many standholders bought in stock especially for the Game Fair and are using a different way to get to their customers. Blaze Publishing has stepped in to offer stricken traders special CLA Game Fair promotions on its magazine's Facebook pages, free of charge. If you'd planned to go shopping at the Game Fair, you can find the Game Fair specials on the Facebook pages of Sporting Rifle, Clay Shooting, Modern Gamekeeping and Airgun Shooter magazines. The High Court has ruled that the proposed badger call is legal and will go ahead. Culling could now go ahead from September in the two areas in Devon and Gloucestershire. DEFRA said it was pleased with the judgment. 
The full story will be in the August issue of Modern Gamekeeping. The League Against Cruel Sports was left red-faced after it emerged that its latest anti-shooting video had borrowed Basque's footage without permission. Basque accused the League of breach of copyright after its latest video, Gun Smoke and Mirrors, appeared to include a clip from Basque's film and introduction to pheasant shooting. YouTube quickly removed the video while the copyright issue was resolved. The Union of Country Sports Workers has announced they're launching a campaign called Save Our Lead Shot. It's in response to the news that the Wildlife and Wetland Trust were campaigning to ban all shooting with lead. The use of lead shot is already banned on wetland areas and the Countryside Alliance is another organisation campaigning at a European level to counter the risk of a full lead ban. And finally, Boxall and Edmonston have announced the release of their new Over and Under in collaboration with shooting writer Michael Yardley. The 12 bore clay and game gun will come in two models, round action and side plated square action. That's the Shooting Show news. All you need to know about what goes bang and what falls over. Thanks for watching. We're out every Monday, 7.30pm UK time. This is The Shooting Show.